everyone, Christian here, and uh, on request that I do a few more cold hardy species, uh, I bring everyone Sable Bermudana here. So I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not uh, an expert on the cold hardiest of species. There are many people out there that try very hard to grow these plants in areas such as like, uh, you know, central and northern Europe, southeast and uh, mid-Atlantic mid U.S. and other parts of the world, say Australia, uh, even parts of uh Asia and uh, Africa, but these are, uh, you know, I, Sable Bermudana has kind of been a plant that people will, will, will think that they have oftentimes and it not actually be that. And there's, this one kind of has all the, all the attributes of Bermudana. It's kind of good. I, to be honest, you can see that it's actually uh, fruiting now. And I'm not even positive that that's the, pos the proper time that it's supposed to fruit, but I believe it is. Um, this could be a very large stable etonia, but it's unlikely. It has the other aspects of Bermudana. Uh, it has this kind of like very stout, uh, beefy kind of trunk with the leaves kind of coming up and holding very upright. And that's pretty uh, typical of this species. Now, it's native to, to uh, Bermuda, although apparently it's also, um, I did a quick check on just to check if it actually grew anywhere else, and it says that it naturalized in the, the uh, Leeward Islands. So... Um, this plant actually, I guess, really enjoys that area too. So it likes a very wind. It's called the, apparently it's called the Bibby Palm, which I found kind of, kind of interesting as a common name, but I don't know what that means. It just must be a Bermuda, uh, Bermudan term. Um, but it is kind of a short stout plant that, uh, has been known to be cold hardy throughout the Southeast U.S. So for those of you who want to try and grow it, say in Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, Alabama, um, all the way up into possibly Virginia, I imagine that this plant is, is at least as cold hardy as a palmetto, if not more so. Um, Bermuda has a very interesting climate where you can actually grow coconuts there, although they don't really fruit because it, it's, it's a little bit too cool in the, in the uh, winter time to, for a fruiting process to take place. Um, so <clears throat> it does have many of the aspects of, it kind of looks like a sable lisa with more segmented leaves at a juvenile age. So, um, you know, it, it has that upright leaf look. It has the uh, kind of very beefy-ish trunk. It also kind of looks like that, and beefy, when I say trunk, it's an unclear trunk. It's kind of more of just a base of leaves, of, of uh, petiole bases, I should say. And uh, it has very costa palmate leaves, you can see. There's a nice little wasp nest in there. And uh, very folded leaves there. <clears throat> and this one's kind of suffering from a little bit of a deficiency, but uh, I mean, most stables kind of have that problem. They just, a lot of people leave them alone and they usually kind of just grow out of it. So, but it, it is uh, fruiting. It has fruit, they're not, the fruit is not ripe yet. But, uh, but yeah, it, it tends to keep kind of stout and short. So for those of you who want to protect the plant, uh, you know, it is a little bit easier than say, trying to protect a plant that grows to 30 feet in height. So that won't really happen here. I believe it stays short because in Bermuda, the, you know, it's very windy all the time. Uh, the breeziness kind of keeps plants a little bit shorter than they normally would. So again, that, that's what I believe. I'm, I'm not sure that's actually 100% true, but it would make sense. So, um, like I said, I'm, I don't come across these that often because it's just not as popular of a plant around here, or a palm, I should say. So, but the seeds, as you can see, will go over there. They're a little bit larger than your average. I just don't want to hit a wasp in this here, but you can see they're a little bit larger than. Uh, most sable seeds and those aren't ripe yet. So they're going to be a little more of an uh, Oval well most of them are oval shaped, but this is gonna be a little bit larger probably double the size of a regular palmetto and uh, They hold them they hold the uh, fruit a little closer to the crown than say a palmetto would um, they are They're intrafoliar as opposed to interfoliar where the the, the uh, flowers actually come outside of the crown these stay within the crown and this is something, you, this looks more typical of kind of like a sable miner with a more compact uh, fruiting structure. So those fruit are going to grow just like any other sable. They like the, the uh, nice uh, tropical heat in the summertime and they'll germinate if you throw them in pretty much any soil. So uh, just don't, one thing not to do with sables is uh, try and transplant them without uh, plenty of digging beforehand. And if it doesn't have any trunk, any clear wood there, like you can see, I wouldn't recommend transplanting at all because it's, the success rate is going to be so low. So as far as cold hardiness, I believe this is probably good to 8A. Uh, I imagine if we protect it, it's probably 
going to be almost a solid zone beyond that. So if you want, want to give that a, a try in your cold hardy garden, um, or you just you know you want to have a nice sun loving or shade loving plant that doesn't take up a whole lot of room as a palm, this is a great addition to any garden. It is a true species. So um, anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say about Bermudana. I mean, it's a it's kind of like a cross between a sable palmetto and a sable minor, but it, uh, it kind of has both attributes. But uh, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's its own species, and it's definitely been by itself for uh, quite a long time being in Bermuda, which is, you know, four or five hundred miles away from the uh, North American continent. So, anyway, if you have any more questions about sables or sable Bermudana or, uh, you know, har how hardy it is, uh, leave it down below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And um, if you uh, haven't seen any of these videos but just came across this and want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And... I'll see everyone next time.